it didn't start easy, but I must say it's going real fine. My expectations have been exceeded. I don't think I would want to trade here for anywhere. I can say for sure that investing medical sciences blew my mind. UNED, the making of first class university of medical sciences. At all times, to promote the ideals and the good name of the university. So help me God. 192 young minds, they are history makers, pioneer students of the first specialized university of medical sciences in Nigeria. Established on December 8, 2014 by the then Governor of Undo State, Dr. Lushe Gumimiko, the Undo State University of Medical Sciences, UNIMED in Undo City, is to support Nigeria's quest for high-quality education, service delivery, research and innovation in the field of medical sciences. On presentation of the state law establishing the university, the master plan and the academic briefs of the university, the National Universities Commission NUC, gave official recognition to the university on April 22, 2015 as first specialized medical university, 40th state university and the 139th university in Nigeria. So, His Excellency Dr. Richard Mumineko, Executive Governor of Ondo State, Government House, Abakaka, Akure Ondo, Recognition of Ondo State University of Medical Science, Your Excellency, I write on behalf of the board, management and staff of the National Universities Commission, NUC, to convey to His Excellency that with effect from the 22nd April 2015, the Ondo State University of Medical Sciences has been recognized by the Commission. I'm interested to serve that um, we have also scored one first. Yes. Even before takeoff, the Nigerian postgraduate College of Surgeons. Following the enactment of the law establishing the university, the state government mandated a consortium led by Professor Eugene Okpere of the National Universities Commission, assisted by Professor Tolu Odubemi, the then Vice Chancellor of the Ondo State University of Science and Technology, to develop academic briefs for the new university, while the consultant Oko Investment, Nigeria Limited, provided a detailed master plan of the university for its location in Laje Road in Ondo Town. Uh, I was appointed by Sonsala on the 10th of March 2015. At that time, nothing was on ground. So we began to work on the processes of getting approval from the NUC, which we submitted all the requirements through then myself and the registrar, who was appointed at that time. Uh, Dr. Mrs. Uh, Funke, and um, we collated the papers together and then subsequently NUC gave uh, approval for the establishment of the university and then we began to work on getting the principal staff together and it was in July that we were able to, July that same year that we were able to actually move to an office space that they gave to us in the medical village at that time, which was the start of campus, which was given to us as, as the campus of the University of Medical Sciences by the then government. So and later on, they gave us the CFO, the CFO indicating that the entire land there belonged to the University of Medical Sciences. That's how we started. It was just uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Fred Okunofua, FAS, then uh, the University 
first substantive registrar, Dr. Late Dr. Mrs. Funke Yebade, of blessed memory now. And uh, I was privileged to be the third person coming on board to join these two teams to commence the setting up of University of Medical Sciences. I was still a middle level officer, Shiva Tatan from Akumba. I was seconded there for a period of one year to start operation of Bursary Department, which is another special organ of the university. And since then, the university has been developing gradually to the story we have to tell today. The existing medical village in Undo City, comprising the Mother and Child Hospital, Trauma and Surgical Center, the Kidney Care Center, and the Ghani Fawemi Diagnostic Center were integrated into the university and formed its takeoff administrative and resource base. The university's first substantive vice chancellor, Friday Okonofua, a professor of obstetrics and gynecologist at the University of Benin, was appointed on March 11, 2015 while Emeritus Professor Oladipo Akinkugwe was also appointed as a pioneer pro-chancellor and chairman of the Governing Council. The first set of students uh, that were admitted came in January 9th. Actually, it was something unusual because at the time we students were admitted, NUC had not even approved many of the courses. But because I, I we wanted things to run very fast, we put in things in place and we're very happy that the first set of students were admitted and they resumed on campus on the 9th of January 20, 2016. So that's how the university was established. And then later on, we formed council, formed senate, and then we developed some of the faculties. Other pioneer members of the management team include late Dr. Funke Oyebade, MNI. Mr. Oladiro Fabusui, FCA, as Bursa, and Mr. William Akifolari as Acting Librarian. Advisory visits by two statutory regulatory bodies, the National Universities Commission and Medical and Dental Council of Nigeria, with satisfactory feedbacks, set machinery in motion to admission of students. We started with both UTME and uh, direct entry. That is how we started in 2016. And then um, graduated from there after um, some while, I think 2017, we then increased the program. We had Faculty of Science came in, Faculty of Nursing came in, and then Faculty of Basic uh, uh, Ally Head came in. We have Faculty of Nursing where we have the nursing program. And then we have Faculty of Science, we have Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, and biological sciences. Those are the programs that came in to join the, 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 five one, the five we had before. And so that's how we were, you know, uh, moving from uh, five, we moved to 11 programs, to 13. So eventually, at the, as at uh, last year, 2020, we had about 14 programs that we have in the Unimed. A total of 192 pioneer students spread across five programs medicine, dentistry, anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry were matriculated on March 5, 2016. It was a two in one event, as the university was also formally inaugurated by former governor Olushegun Mimiko on the same day. Well, I thank God that we dreamt of this citadel and it's come to be. I thank God Almighty. Now, as you have heard, this is the first medical specialized university in Nigeria. It's the first university of medical sciences in Nigeria. The first in West Africa and about the third in Africa. Now, this institution we specialize in training, in service, and in research. Now the fact that we can train, concentrate on training doctors alone here, yeah, that means the quantum of doctors that will be available to service patients in Nigeria will increase. The fact that we are zeroing on on research also means that through our activities here, we will begin to find solutions to medical problems and issues, especially those that are peculiarly African. 
Again, that means that we will succeed in raising the profile of medical research in Africa and globally. The joy of the matriculating pioneer students, their parents and guardians, the management and staff, the government of Undo State, as well as friends of the university, knew no bounds on the epoch making event. Our new University of Medical Science is here in Undo. It is one of only three universities of medical or health sciences in Africa, south of the Sahara. And indeed, the only one of its type. West Africa. It is commencing modestly but confident and is already endowed with a robust coterie of academic and administrative staff. The number of impressive physical structures, both preclinical and clinical, it can also boast an undergraduate population of well over 200. All very worthy. Bondo State is very fortunate in having a visionary in the person of His Excellency Dr. Olusha Mimiko COA. In less than five years, UNIMED has established itself as a force to reckon with in the health and education sectors. From its first distinguished lecture held on June 15, 2016, UNIMED has used the platforms to draw to the institution top academics, distinguished medical practitioners, captains of industries, and other stakeholders. And now we're moving to University of Africa. On July 7, 2016, the institution launched the Friends of Unimed Fund. The scheme is a novel effort to raise 1 million friends who are expected to contribute at least 1,000 naira annually to fund the university. Friends of Unimed was the concept we generated when I was there because I felt that that university is owned by the Ondo state government but it's for all Nigerians. It's a concept that I came up believing that if, if you are a parent in that university, you have a child, then you, you are a friend. You must contribute to the growth and development. And you must continue to receive information about how the school is evolving. So we ask people to just pay $1,000 uh, every year to be friends of Unimed. I, I started by paying even more, more than $1,000 every year. Although this year I have not paid, I will pay this year. But last year before I left office, I paid more than 1,000. Usually we say a minimum of 1,000, but some people were paying 1 million. And I remember Chief Adedu paid 1 million several times and so on and so forth. Uh, so it's still a concept which remains because any institution for you to grow cannot rely on government funding alone. Ondo community involvement in UNIMED appears unprecedented as eminent sons and daughters of the kingdom have taken ownership of the project. Among them is Chief Isaac Akintadi Bisharu of Ondo Kingdom, who donated the multi millionaire faculty of basic clinical sciences. I gained so much from Ondo Town, and I'm proud of Ondo Town, and uh, with my achievements uh, with what God has given to me, I need to give a little part of it to the community. That's why I've done what I've done for Unimed. Also, a former lawmaker representing Ondo East and West Federal Constituency in the National Assembly, Dr. Joseph Akilaja, facilitated the Faculty of Basic Clinical Sciences Building as one of his constituency projects. I look at myself, what can I contribute? I may not have my own personal money that could uh, bring up such a gigantic project. But I have the privilege of, uh, you know, uh, utilizing constituency projects for the constituency to which I belong. 
In 2019, just four years after it admitted its first set of students, UNIMED held its first convocation ceremony for 31 students from the departments of anatomy, biochemistry, and physiology. A female student in the Department of Biochemistry, Celestina Olafusi, exceedingly stewed as the pioneer first class graduate. She went home with many awards including Best Graduating Students in the 2018-2019 Academic Session, Best Graduating Student in the Faculty of Basic Medical Sciences, Best Graduating Student in the Department of Biochemistry, and the Madame Abaibe Okonovers Prize for the Best Graduating Female Student. It is our responsibilities and bounding duties to give our university, especially the University of Medical Sciences, a pride of place among universities in Nigeria. No doubt, the competitiveness and admission of students into professional universities, particularly one of this nature, I don't know many. I want to believe the University of Medical Sciences is probably the only University in Nigeria. Celestina, the daughter of a retired school principal, Mr. Bankole Olafusi, recalls with nostalgia a foray to the institution, the determination to bring glory to her family. Unimed was not my straight A school, it was actually University of Ibadan. But you know, when God works, He brings some opportunities up for people like us, and I'm glad to have pioneered studentship in that school. And being able to come out with a first class has motivated a lot of students. They want to know how you did it. I'm very glad that I've brought biochemistry to the limelight. People want to know what we do there. Being given um, a scholarship to study at to PhD level in any university in the world is a big feat. So I'm being challenged to do more to better the um, education of others because they imparted it to me, and I'm, I must impart it to them too. I want to be a professor of biochemistry, and I want to be the youngest one, for that matter. From the onset, we know that this uh, University of Medical Science is going to be one of the best in the nation because the, the setup was built on a very good uh, foundation. See, even the vice chancellor, you can see the, from the vice chancellor, then to the uh, staffs there, you see, they, they, are all, they are all very good. And then the way they treat these children, you see, even there are some universities, even the big, big universities, you see the way when you get there, you don't know where to go. But in this way, the organization is perfect. Meanwhile, pioneer medical students of the university, now in 500 level, are currently having their clinical postings in the Department of Pediatrics, as well as Obstetrics and Gynecology. Having a first degree from a private school, I can say for sure that University of Medical Sciences blew my mind. It is fabulous. It is um, sort of very um, standard, much more than I even expected. Because I sort of have conversations with my colleagues in other schools and they tell me things like, you know, my school still has the best facilities when it comes to the clinical work, our laboratories, they're really standard. And our teachers are calling, I mean, they're committed to us, they're committed to our growth, where if you miss a class, you would, they would know. So they get to call you like, why did you miss a class? That's how serious it is. My pediatrics posting has been phenomenal and awesome. So I'm not saying my other postings have not been awesome, right? But I just love my pediatric um, consultants. They've been really just very soft and, you know, just welcoming. I remember vividly we went for a competition in IFE. We met a different kind of students. We were like, this school is new, these people are doing well like this. Even our um, VC then, Professor Okunufa, was very surprised that we can go this extent. I moved proper into the Department of Dentistry when I was in 300 level, when we started with oral biology. And it was, the department was very welcoming and they have trained us to be good dentists. They not just train us to know the stuff, but then they also train us to be good in character and morals to be able to treat people right to not just be the kind of people that treat patients anyhow but to also always remember that patients are people first 
and to treat them as such. My expectations were exceeded. Being that this is a new school, I had somewhat low expectations because I thought there would be a lot of growing pains, but my expectations have been exceeded because there are a lot of things that we have in this school that other schools don't have presently. And it has been very, very fast and very smooth. I once uploaded a picture of mine in this same lab on Twitter a few months back and a friend of mine just asked, is this university in Nigeria? I laughed and I told him, yes, this is in Nigeria. And I told him this is University of Medical Sciences, Kondo. And he asked if our phantom labs were functioning. And I told him, in that picture, you could see my colleagues working because I was done with my practical. So I just took a picture and that indicated that all of them are working. And he was like, he has not seen one functioning phantom lab before. That in his school, they have one and it's still not functioning. And here, on a row, we have 10. All together, we have 20. So that's more reason why I can say, yes, this, this is the standard, which is higher than other university standards. We don't just do it theoretically, we do it practically too. When I came into Unimed, okay, fine. I had, when you get to the university, it's always tough. Our lecturers, they don't teach at all. But when I came to Unimed, it was different. Lecturers actually teach us. If we don't understand, we can actually tell them we don't understand, like other schools. They actually teach us like we are their children. Yes, I'm free with my lecturers. <laughs> I don't think it's comparable because the experiences here, the ability to relate more with lecturers, the equipment we have, the facilities, I don't know. I have been to other schools and I have not seen anything like that. Like, talk of other universities, it is not like that. It is more awesome here. Yeah. I want to be a lecturer, you know. Relating with lecturers here has and motivated me. In March 2020, the baton of leadership for the institution changed from Professor Konufwa to Professor Adesha Gunfatusi, a community medicine and public health physician. So I have the honor of the privilege to hand over to you. I hand over to you. We work through a good process to select the new Vassan Solo, the one replacement, and I'm very, very proud of him. I've known him for years, but attended the same medical school, Professor Adesha Gun, I've uh, extremely proactive. And you know, the beauty of it is that, you know, Ondo State, um, that university belonged to Ondo State. But myself, I wasn't from Ondo State when I became Vassan Solo. And Professor Fatusi is also now not from Ondo State, he's from Ogo State. So I told the governor, I said, look, let's go for the best. In the next, in the next 20 years, let's select Bison Source on the basis of merit rather than anything else. Fatusi imagines was an icing on the cake for the young institution that had set the pace for the establishment of more specialized University of Medical Sciences in the country. His vision for the university was anchored on a star's agenda. Strategic repositioning technology, accentuated capacity development, resource generation and optimization, and finally, stakeholders connection, STARS. Every department of ours need to have even staff who are internationally based. There are many Nigerians outside the country. Today, in our Department of Pathology, we have somebody who is in Leeds, who is the Director of Pathology Services in Leeds, a Nigerian, who already is becoming one of our visiting professors. And it's teaches, but we are doing digital pathology uh, as part of that. We have, as of today, somebody who is in UK again, who is a visiting professor with us in our pathology, in our in our anatomy. So, part of that is one widening even the network of teachers to bring in a lot more international people to broaden our horizon and also to connect us with teaching abroad. So we are looking at our research partnerships. We begin to look at how do we collaborate with other people. We are thinking about how do we also develop new programs where we can bring international experiences to work with us. So the, the summary is this. We are bringing international collaboration to, to, to bring the biggest impact on our program. Because for us, that's the only way to grow. That's what we are looking at very strongly.
Within a short time, Fatusi was again appointed to lead Ondo State COVID-19 management and containment strategy, was happy that his dreams have begun to materialize and one of them is the establishment of the first of its kind medical rehabilitation faculty in any university in Nigeria. We can count on our support to ensure that those programs are accredited and of course we also guide them, give them a guidelines on how to ensure that the process of accreditation, they scale through it smoothly with little or no hs and we can also assure you that in terms of the product of these institutions will be highly recommended all over the nation and all over the world because we write letter of good standing from time to time. Professor Fatusi said Unimed's goal is to become the leading training center for medical rehabilitation in West Africa by 2022. You cannot expect teachers to give what they don't have. So we are going to be developing, we are going to be putting a lot of resources in developing the ability of our teachers to become excellent teachers, our workers to become excellent researchers, our administrators to become top-notch. So we are going to be doing a lot of investment in capacity. This university has entered into a super highway of acceleration. With the new vice chancellor too, with his innovation, his dedication, his zeal, and uh, most of the staff, you can see, the, the interest and the dedication of staff, I can see us going very, very far. We, we, we expect that in a short while, we will be able to be bridging some important gaps in the, in the industry of this nation in terms of medical services and, and products. The university has done very, very well. So within five years, We've been able to have almost about 24 dental chairs. The phantom health that we have now is state of the art. I don't think there is any other university that has what we have now. And we have 21 units in the phantom health lab. Because that is where you train the students before they go to the clinic. So they have to pass that particular aspect or else you can't go to the clinic. Whatever you're going to practice in the clinic, you must first of all practice it on the mannequin. And then you are certified that you have acquired the skills. Then it is then that you cannot go to the clinic. University have, has done very well in terms of equipment. The school has really tried when it comes to that aspect because of this uh, equipment that we have in place. Like ever since I've joined them, some of the students have been coming here for practicals and some other things. In fact, they have been learning so fast. This laboratory is a multipurpose laboratory, combined of uh, microbial pathology and uh, hematology. In microbial pathology, we get samples, we process samples here, then we carry out a uh, grand staining, then we have a chemical test. Professor Fatusi has been able to bring in the uh, international dimension into the whole thing because of its exposure at international level. We, most of our operations, yeah, most, most of our activities are internationalized. We have started linking up with other universities. We started linking up with other um, organizations and abroad. We have established research units that um, puts together all the research activities of the university in an organized manner, then we have been able to benefit more from that fund. If you go to Laje, you see some of the buildings under construction there, unlike before. Among the numerous global recognition the institution has received in few years is its selection as one of 13 awardees to receive equipment that will advance scientific research and teaching courtesy of the City Labs annual positively instrumental event held on May 1, 2019 in Boston, Massachusetts, USA, which celebrated the power of global science. Professor Rose Angela Ifeinwa Nwuba, a molecular and cellular parasitologist and dean of the Faculty of Science at UNIMED got the award for pursuing a novel approach in the fight against malaria. 
instead of a vaccine which would work by triggering an immune response in the person who receives it. Professor Umba and her collaborators want to use antibodies from people who are already immune to help others fight malaria. I see a image that is the go-to institution when it comes to medical education. I see a image that is truly a top-notch research institution that is beginning to create a wave, not in Nigeria, not in West Africa, but contributing to the development of research in the world. That is the unimed of our dream. Excellence in teaching, excellent research, excellent in services. With numerous success stories and many more in the offer, including the much anticipated maiden induction for the pioneer medical students, there is no gainsaying that Unimed has indeed blazed the trail on specialized medical education to address developmental challenges in the health sector.